All right, guys, you have six hours to help your canvases make a fresh start by covering up a hate tattoo. And your time starts now. Take it ass. There you go. The less people there are in this competition, the more intense it gets. And this week, it's getting super tough. All these canvases have hate tattoos that they regret getting. It's a heavy thing to walk around with something so negative on your skin. I love it already. This is a chance for these artists to give these people a new lease on life. It's going to be a sick piece right there. Let the racing begin. If you can look at the tattoo and still see what was underneath, you have failed your canvas and you're going home. I've got a couple of different options for you. My canvas wants a soldier's cross and a six-pointed star to cover this thing up and pay homage to the people that she offended with the original tattoo. The soldier's cross is doable. However, I've got to do it at least that big. So I did one that I know will work, a World War II American Eagle piece. With the six-pointed star, I know it's in totally different directions. Get but it. Really? Yeah, badass. Let's get it, man. Luckily, she just wants to get rid of this swastika. She hates it, and she's willing to do whatever it takes. Why did you get the Nazi tattoo to begin with? Ugh. Is that a question you don't want? Trying to fit in. I got mixed up with the wrong people and did a stupid move when I was 16. I've been carrying that around for 20 years. I don't think I truly understood what it meant, and it disgusts me that it's there. I want to turn a negative into a positive. It's caused so much turmoil in my life. To have this thing covered up, man, that's almost surreal, you know? Yeah, that's cool. I'm glad I could be the one to do it. Stoked completely. When I saw it from across the room, I was like, I see a flower right there. The canvas I gave myself was probably one of the hardest cover-ups in there because it's so big. But I know that I can cover anything with a flower. I do flowers all the time, so it wasn't really far stretch. I've designed all the petals to curl in right around that circular shape as part of the anarchy symbol. I can just kind of keep all my darks on the tips, and I can use the shadows that are already there. Yeah. Everybody knows it's going to get a really nice tattoo. Let's get this over with, and let me get to the damn finale. Still feeling it? Oh, I ain't scared. I like doing cover-ups. I do big tattoos, and this is right in my alley. I'm doing a huge dual arm cover-up. There's no room for lollygagging. It is balls to the wall from start to finish. So what's the deal with the Confederate flag? Oh, man, 19 years old. I don't know if I really have an answer as to why I did it. So it was a cool tattoo. It's much appreciated. All right, take care of you, man. I'm a father of five kids. I want to be a better role model. It's time for the tattoo to go. I think we got a winner, no problem. Yeah. Three more hours to go. Been trying to get rid of about 20 years, man. When I first got a tattoo, I was like 13, 14 years old. I was like an idiot joining the Aryan Brotherhood. That ain't cool. That's not where I want to be. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're red, black, brown, yellow, green, whatever. Unfortunately, I've been a victim of hate. When I was wanting to get an apprenticeship to learn how to tattoo, I was told that the color of my skin was going to hinder my chances. To be a minority, it's actually driving me even more to do a killer job. So how'd you get rid of the swasty? I put a little chinger in the gravestone. We're burying the past, so it's perfect. Can't wait for all the stress to go off my shoulders. To be able to help this guy change his life is a complete honor. There ain't nobody going to beat this one. Let him know how it's done. Got some tricks to pull off. This tattoo isn't working out as good as I expected. There are a lot of wonky lines that are just popping up out of the blue. It is not covering the way I wanted to. My goal is to make it look like a badass tattoo, even if it wasn't covered. And there's a couple spots that get a little bit black. I've never been to the bottom before, and I'm not ready to go now. So far, I think Christian's the weakest. That eagle head. It's mad ugly. And the drawing is terrible. And the little arms. <laughs> well, there's a lot of her original tattoo poking through. You better really pull it together. Did you go to art school or anything? Nah, I'm a high school dropout. Did you have a formal apprenticeship? No, I did not. Mm -hmm. I got the easiest cover up in the room. But I can't just do a little tiny zombie peeking out of the top of this guy's sock. So I'm doing a giant photorealistic tattoo. And I screwed myself. Go big or go home. There is not enough time in the world to do this tattoo. Is art something you've always been interested in? Yeah. It's not helping at all. That my canvas is asking me about a thousand million questions per minute. What's the biggest thing that has improved your artwork? It's kept at it, honestly. Half of the battle is distractions. Why is the sky blue? Why do I have a beard? Why are boobs good? Shut up and let me tattoo. Five, four, three, two, 
One. That's it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. Awesome. I ain't ever got to look at that ugly ass thing again, man. It's a pretty tough looking tattoo. Yeah, it is. Wow, that is sick. Maddie's tattoo has a lot of flaws. The hair looks like spaghetti, and he went so big, he's handing in an unfinished tattoo. He dropped the ball, and I couldn't care less, as long as I'm not the one going home. Did you feel that was a disadvantage? I mean, it wasn't easy. His arm's as big as my leg. And you know, the tattoos that he has, just the flag itself is pretty good size. Overall, man, it's a big,